hello friends my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial again we are going to discuss about the uh, completable future uh, API so here we'll, we'll discuss about the computable future with encapsulated uh, computation logic so uh, computable future class has two static method and that is called uh, there are more than two static method but in this video tutorial basically we are going to discuss about the mainly two static method so first static method is a run sync and second is the supply uh, async run async and supply async so these two method is available in the uh, two form of overloaded method itself so a static method run async and supply async allow just to create a a completable future instance out of runnable and supplier functional types correspondingly both runnable and supplier functional interfaces that allows uh, allow passing their instances as lambda expressions so runnable and functional uh, supplier uh, both are a functional interface why it is functional interface because this is a same kind of interface when i say same means single object single abstract method these two interface contains single abstract method so that's why we can uh, write a lambda expression for these two interfaces the runnable interface is the same old interface that is used in threads and it does not allow to return a value right so as i said runnable interface is having only one method that is called run and run method does not return you any value so if you write some kind of uh, processing logic then this logic you need to write within the run method but run method is not going to return you any value the supplier interface is a generic functional interface with a single method that has no argument and returns a value of parameterized type so again supplier is a functional interface which is having only one get method which which can do some processing and finally return some generic kind of object so that's the point uh, over here supplier allows uh, to provide an instance of supplier as a lambda expression that does the calculation and returns the result so here i have eclipse let's move ahead and uh, try to uh, see how these two api works so first api we have seen run async so and this is a static method so directly you can call by the class name right so let's create a let's call this method through the class so first method i would like to discuss run async so you can see run is async you can see the small symbol s this is indicating that this is a static method so there is two form of run async method one method first method is taking runnable as an argument and second method takes two parameter first runnable and second is the executor so let's start with the first so here run as i said runnable is an uh, functional interface right and which is having a run method and run method does not take any parameter so and uh, that do some processing within the method itself run method itself so we can write the lambda expression for this and here i'm going to write instead of writing a complex logic um, just i'm going to write a simple statement my uh, task one is completed right and if i run it then i i was supposed to get the output out was coming and going again right so so we, i got my task is one is completed now so within this within this you can write a complex logic right just i have written the one sop now first method we have seen now second overlaid method which takes two parameters so just i'm going to separate this output with some marker right and second overloaded method we can write like this so just i have copied the same code snippet and here we can pass the second parameter right a second parameter the executors right executors and executor has a lot of static method to create the uh, uh, thread pool so here i'm going to use new fixed thread pool with two threads right so here we have chance to pass the executor uh, and 
through executor we can create a thread pool so basically here i'm going to pass number of threads to so this task is going to execute by the two thread parallelly so here just you are taking the advantage of families so i would say my task 2 is completed and if you run then you will get the output like this right my first task is completed and my second task is completed so we have seen example of run async which takes two parameter and also we have seen example run async which takes single parameter as an runnable argument now we are done with uh, run async now let's now let's uh, explore uh, next method which is nothing but the sub nothing but the supply async method so let me show you supply how supply async method works again uh, supply uh, supply async method has a two form uh, first uh, method takes only one parameters supplier as an argument and second parameter again uh, second uh, method uh, second overload method takes first parameter as a supplier and as an argument and second parameter the executor so let's just start with the first so if you go to the uh, apply a sync so this takes supplier as an argument and if you go to the supplier then this is a functional interface which is only one method right so this is a functional interface so we can write lambda expression for this right so come to here and here i'm going to write a lambda expression so uh, uh, method does not take any parameter and that returns some value so here just i'm going to return a single i'm going to return a string so hello world but in real scenario you can have a some complex logic right and so this is a first uh, method which we are trying to call second method you can write overloaded version of second uh, form right so here second method you can write uh, if you look at the, you look into the second method then first argument takes supplier as argument and and second argument is the executor itself so here we can define like this right and second parameter we can supply executors right executors and here we can create any kind of thread pool right so again i'm going to take uh, at this time uh, i would say new and cast thread pool so and if you try to run it so this here you can put uh, something like this okay let me define from scratch so basically first argument is nothing but runnable a uh, supplier right so supplier does not take first parameter is the supplier right which does not take any parameter but returns some value so here we can write return uh, a simple string like hello world Okay. Yes, I'm gonna return a string. And second argument here we can take as executors. Executors and here we can create a thread pool. So let's create a new cast thread pool. Right, error has gone. And if I run So here we are using second overloaded method supply async if I run it then we are getting the output like this my task 1 is completed my task 2 is completed but we are not getting output for this so let's see the return type of this guy so return type of this method is uh, completable future itself so let's uh, store return of this value in some local variable and if you try to call sorry if you try to call get method on it now get method throws exception so let's declare in throws plot itself 
git meter uh, throwing interrupted as well as execution exception now similarly we can store this in local variable and we can call again get method on it right so let's call apply sync to get method again if i try to run then i am getting the all we are getting the four output right so first output from the my uh, run sync method which is saying my task one is completed now run sync is has a overloaded method which takes two arguments so because of that we are getting output my task two is completed again we have used supply async which takes only one parameter supply as an argument which is giving us the output hello world and almost similar output we are getting from the second uh, overloaded method apl uh, apply async which takes two parameters so here uh, you have chance to pass a uh, number of thread or, or uh, thread pool over here so that you can take advantage of parallelism and we are getting the output uh, for this uh, hello world again right so i hope you enjoyed learning this video in this video basically we have explored two methods run async and uh, supply async right so these two method is post fixed as a runs async so and this is signifying that this method is basically responsible to uh, run i mean code in asynchronous manner so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to upload on the github and github location i'm going to specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial